you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 24th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings and birth of our lord jesus christ a reading from the holy gospel according to st luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 14 In those days a decree went out from emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered this was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of the city all went to their own town to be registered Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of uh, david he went to be registered with mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child while they were there the time came for her to deliver the child and she gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn in that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night then an angel of the lord stood before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid for see i am bringing you the good news of great joy for all the people to you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is the messiah the lord this will be a sign for you you will find a child wrapped in bands of clothes and laying in a manger and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising god and saying glory to god in the highest heaven and on yet peace among those whom he favors the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ to you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is the messiah the lord happy christmas my dear friends that says it all that's the christmas truth it is the only thing that needs to be said or really even can be said and it is the only thing i have to tell you tonight nothing more nothing less they are the angels words to the shepherds to you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is the messiah the lord they are words of goodness of great joy for all people today isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light those who lived in a land of deep darkness on them light was shining tonight gabriel's words to mary come alive their flesh and blood real tonight a child wrapped in a bands of cloth and laying in the manger is our sign that nothing will be impossible with god every year we come to this night wanting only one thing we want to be reminded of the angels words we want to be credible in the truth of those words we want to hold them in the mangers of our hearts we want to be told that the story is a true and can be trusted we want to know the reality of this birth in my life in our lives and in our world we suspect that that what do you want as well we think we think that's what we all want we want to hear the angels words again for the first very first time we think that's why we have come to this place on this night why do i say that why do i come here every year wanting to hear these words one more time and be reminded of the truth why do i think that's why you are here and what you want because 
I have walked in darkness because I have lived in the land of a ship darkness, deep darkness, because I have known times when my life was trapped by curtains of impossibility because I look at the world and ache to hear some good news of great joy. Let me give you a few examples. I have friends and loved ones who are walking in the darkness of cancer, waiting, wondering, weeping. I have lived in the dark land of grief, loss and sorrow. The names and faces of family and friends run through my mind like tears down my cheeks. The darkness of confusion, self-doubt and not knowing how caused me to stumble and fall. Sometimes my words and actions, my choices, my priorities, things I have done and left undone have darkened my soul and, and mind, leaving me blind to new possibilities and imprisoned by impossibility. I desperately want to hear good news of great joy of all people, for blacks and whites, liberals, conservatives, Muslims, Christians, Jews, Palestinians, citizens and immigrants, gay and straight. I want to see that good news overcome our divisions. Yeah, every one of us has experienced some darkness over the last year, especially Corona. Every one of us has stood before the curtain of impossibility. Every one of us has longed to be told good news of great joy. And for some of us, that was not just about the past year. It describes us our life today, here, now, in this moment. That's why I come here tonight, wanting to be reminded this story is real and true. That's why I said, think, I think you come here wanting the same thing. Yeah. Every year, I leave this night and this place having seen the child wrapped in the bands of the cloth and laying in the manger. And once again, as if for the first time, I know this story is true. I always leave here knowing the reality of its truth for our lives. Tonight, you and I leave here knowing that the manger of darkness is filled with the light of life, that the manger of confusion and self-doubt is filled with the wonderful counsel, that the manger of the weakness and impossibility cradles the mighty God, that the manger of the chaos and conflicts holds the Prince of Peace, that the manger of guilt and regret is filled with the Merciful One, that the manger of cruelty and violence is filled with the Most Gentle One. Yes, let us all welcome our Lord Jesus Christ in our lives, in our heart, in mind. Happy Christmas. Amen.